wish I didn't get so scared about all this. This Colorado native is on a mission to conquer all seven summits, the highest peaks on each continent. If he is successful, he would be the first hemophiliac to do so. Summit of Denali, it's cold. Hemophilia looks very different in other places in the world. People with the same condition that I'd have aren't making it past 10 years old. Her son didn't live. And I'm doing this. When the diagnosis came back, we were both pretty devastated. Life expectancy wasn't that great. You were told you can't play certain games. You were told you can't jump on the couch. We got a call from the trainer saying that he had caught a fly ball and landed hard on his hip. The trainer said, wow, I've never seen a gluteal muscle get this large. You don't have to play. Quit baseball. And you took antidepressants for a little while. Jess finally told me that I had to go talk to somebody or else like, we probably wouldn't be staying together. Patients with hemophilia have the sense that they can't reach the goals that they want to reach because something is going to happen. My mom would just say, well, you're not doing Everest. You worry about things like high altitude pulmonary edema. Could he start bleeding in his lungs? I want him to fulfill his dream, but it's a scary dream. Whew. <laughs> Oh, man. Tiring, huh? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much you've been on Facebook. The, the globe, the entire world has been messaging you and writing on your wall and messaging me. Blue my vein. <sighs> That's not good. I grew up with so many boys that were told no. And I was told no. 